Let's talk about preserving the anti-cancer nutrients in certain foods. Now, as you probably know, there are a lot of anti-cancer phytochemicals, they're called phytonutrients, in cruciferous vegetables, bok choy, broccoli, cabbage, watercress, kale, radish, and cauliflower, and there's several additional ones as well. One of the most researched phytonutrients would be the glucosinolate. In this book right here, International Agency for Research on Cancer, okay, Cancer Prevention, this book is a summary of all the research on the benefits of phytonutrients in cruciferous vegetables. And what blows me away is that this is completely and utterly ignored by doctors that treat cancer. I mean, there's some serious research in here. Okay, So I want to actually read to you just one single report on this topic that we're on. The broccoli sulforaphane, which is a type of this phytonutrient, was recently identified as being capable of eliminating highly therapy-resistant pancreatic carcinoma cells without inducing toxic side effects. While sulforaphane has been shown to stimulate autophagy or self-eating, check this out, pancreatic carcinoma has one of the worst prognosis among all human malignancies and remains the fourth leading cause of cancer-related death. The large botanical family of cruciferous vegetables, and we're talking about cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, mustard, radish, horseradish, watercress, wasabi, is particularly rich in glucosinolates, the stored form of isothiocyanate. This phytonutrient is like the inactive version. This is the active version. And then you have another one, sulforaphane. And in order to go from here to here, there has to be an enzyme that makes it active. And the enzyme is myrosinase, okay? And the way to activate that enzyme is to chop or cut your cruciferous vegetables, to chew them, mash them, crush them, and then let them sit for about seven minutes as this enzyme starts to create the conversion versus cooking the hell out of these vegetables and destroying this right here. This enzyme is very sensitive to heat. So basically every minute that you cook these, you destroy more and more of the enzymes until about 10 minutes, they're all gone. So if you wanted to slightly steam or cook them a little bit, chop them first, okay? Wait for seven minutes, then cook them, but just make sure you don't overdo it. The point is that once this conversion takes place and you have the active form, this phytonutrient can withstand more heat. What the heat destroys is the enzyme that converts these two. And it just actually blows me away of how many benefits for your health that the active form of these phytonutrients can create for you. Neutralizing cancer, apoptosis. This is when the cancer cell commits suicide. It inhibits tumor growth, decreases inflammation, and the list goes on and on and on. I hope you got that. If you want more information about cruciferous and the benefits that it can create, I'll put it right here.